so good afternoon participant let us start our first module on goal setting and coaching of value added course on holistic personality and life skill development the course is organized by center of excellence in teaching and learning of ASSMS College of Engineering Pune. I am Dr. Mrs. Mangal Hemandain from ASSMS College of Engineering Pune. I welcome all of you in this first module on goal setting and coaching. So you have gone through this uh, brochure. Module 1 is on goal setting and coaching for accelerating career and life success. So here we have to see our personal aspects, career also and life also. So introduction of module, I would like to say design of module is done in such a way that your head, hand and heart also will be involved. Because when head, hand and heart, all three H are involved in the learning process, learning outcome enhances. So this designing is done on the cognitive, psychomotor and affirmative domain. So this is the highest uh, learning model where three dimensions are considered. Now what is the cognitive domain means knowing. So here you will know about the goal setting and coaching, how to set goals, how to do coaching. So that is aspects knowing. But psychomotor domain is also considered. So learning by doing. So you will involve your hand in your learning process. You will not involve only your ear. Okay. You are not supposed to only listen, but you are supposed to use your hand in the learning process. So I already told you take notebook and pen and involve your hand by doing learning by doing exercises. So at least see if you will note down the points that is well and good. But if you don't note down the points, at least whatever some learning by doing exercises are there very simple that you will do with hand. Okay. And third, you will also involve your heart. That is affirmative domain. Why heart is required? Because when brain cannot do, heart will do. Power of heart is 10,000 times than the brain. So here in whole course, we are using our brain and we are using also heart for getting the success. So heart is involved. So every five minutes of our session, we will do some meditations you will involve the heart in this throughout the course okay so that is the design of the course now appreciation certificates will be given whoever will act actively whoever will be active participants they will get appreciating certificates competition quiz winners will also get certificates fast and good response who will give the fast response who will give the good response fast means Suppose I will ask you put in chat box. So who will give first and whose uh, answer is good or whose response will be good. They will also get appreciation certificate and home assignments are not compulsory. That is up to you only. Nothing is compulsory. But if you do the assignments, then also you will get appreciation certificates. So content of module one, there are three parts of the module one. So part 1, part 2 and part 3. So part 1 will be completed in the 3 sessions depending upon your response. It may be finished in the earlier or it may take, may take time to understand. But make it interactive. Don't keep only um, with, uh, doubts with you. You just make the clarifications, ask more doubts, ask more and more things. Then only you will learn with it. Mm, good manner okay so first part is introduction and objectives then employment skills what are the skills required for employment and what are the goal areas okay so these will be first three sessions uh, in the part one and then uh, exercise will be there assignment will be there so one minute heart meditation for achievement will be also there for achievement See, meditation will be for achievement, for getting the success. Different types of meditations are there. Then part two will be again three lectures. Goal setting process, then demonstrating goal setting process and then coaching process. Here I am not going to tell you only the process. Here we will demonstrate each other. 
goal setting process so practical we have to implement it and then the coaching process okay and then the blended meditation we will see for relaxation okay because goal setting may may take you in the stressful condition oh this i have to do that i have to do sometimes goal setting if you will take the stress then it goes into the negative outcome so it should not happen in the negative outcomes that's why here in this part two we will do blended meditation or depending upon your uh, interest i i can also change okay so the part three will be implementing coaching personal action planning little bit but major uh, uh, details we will see in third module but here i would like to cover important aspects because whoever will be completing goal setting only they also know little bit about the planning and then demonstration of planning and manifesting techniques okay so that will be about the part 3 so content of part 1 uh, is detailed suppose you can say that introduction of the goal setting what is that then the learning objectives top skills and qualities for employment what is gsm goal setting and manifesting so we'll see first meaning of goal setting and we'll see meaning of manifestation also but why it is required why goal setting is required what are the types of goals and what are the areas of goals? areas of life so you must know types of goals and you must know areas of life so this is just knowing you must know and then in next tomorrow session you can just decide yourself and setting your own goal areas okay so what are the objectives of vac value added course vac means value value added course so in short value added course or you can say module 1 is designed for exploring new horizons for personal and professional development foster holistic development and create successful life so these are the main objectives so here <coughs> learners will be able to know qualities and skills required for placement finalize different areas for self multi dimensional development set goals efficiently and effectively execute self and peer coaching implement process of manifesting bring overall success to the goals and form networking groups for peer to peer learning so i am expecting whoever you are attending uh, these sessions you will network each other you will just have dialogue with each other you can coach each other after the session also okay and execute social community work or you can just think how you can become the social or community leader now what are the top skills required for employment so if you are students no doubt for teacher i will take tomorrow okay so uh, what are the top 10 employment skills required actually here i told you earth uh, has entered into the high magnetic field and uh, if you will see earlier uh, era uh, was the um, information communication and technology and this era is different this era is general industry for revolution has started and industrial for revolution number of another skills are required or priority of the skills have changed so by end of 2025 above 50% of the reskilling need is there so drastic changes are going to happen you can just see due to the covid how we are executing teaching and learning process means within a one month we just shifted to learn on online earlier we was not aware oh whether we can just uh, teach uh, with uh, global students or whether online but now today situation is different within one month this change happened now you can also see how the corona has made us to sit in the home so these are due to the uh, miss earth energy high energy field drastic changes are still also going to happen by 2025 so if you will see in this year there are different employment skills will be required okay so here according to national education policy 2020 it is also focused key principles so respect of diversity and local context so diversification is very important if you are working with your same cultural with your same age with your same profession 
then it becomes very easy working but now diversification is important because now see for example i am taking this session for the global students so number of students suppose from different countries are attending so how whether i will be able to just uh, uh, competent to give knowledge to all country students or participants so that way diversification is very important so respect for diversity and local context is there equity and inclusion community participation so here students has also have to have community participation teachers are also required use of technology emphasis conceptual understanding so here industry will assess your learning styles how you assess that will be also assess in your interview skills now it was not earlier it was just focusing on your marks and just how you answer like that but today your learning style also employer will come to know because technology is changing if technology is changing how you learn whether you learn fast or no what is your learning styles that is also very important critical thinking creativity is also important so if you will see number of requirement things they are the same here just figure is different so you have to just think on that critical thinking creativity to boost logical decision making and innovation because you know how innovation is becoming important if you don't have critical thinking then how you will do innovation for innovation your critical thinking has to be there your creativity has to be there and throughout this course we are using creativity and we are using creative critical thinking so definitely your creativity and critical thinking will be enhanced after this course okay unique capabilities of recognizing tapping them in each student see means this is very important then emphasize conceptual understanding learning for exams with no rote learning now no rote learning will be there so that is not important so use of technology in teaching then learning removing language barriers removing language barrier is very important okay so they are the important uh, according to the national education policy but uh, now this uh, according to world economic survey top employment skills are this so what i have read that uh, review from that i have just shorted uh, this uh, top uh, 10 employment skills so again here analytical thinking and innovation is important leadership is a highest importance you know aict or national education policy also focusing on the leadership and social influence so this aspect is top one leadership education that's why i decided i have just decided to go with the flow rather i will tell you you will also wonder before it came in national education policy my draft was ready what i will do after 2 years 3 years so actually i am ahead of the time and i wonder how now aict is recommending the same thing which i had um, just predicted value added education also aict is focusing so you can just see active learning and learning strategies since 15 20 years i am using this active learning uh, and uh, teaching strategies but now it has become important because rote learning is not going to help you have to learn actively and if you have to learn actively then teacher should also teach actively so rather than teaching different aspects are coming into the teaching like pedagogy or using this um, skills or that way so here for students or for teachers also this is very important complex problem solving is also important critical thinking and analysis important creativity originality and initiative we see according to national education policy and also employers need these are employers need and you just check how where you are standing reasoning and problem solving if suppose one problem will be given problem is not a mathematics problem is just paint this wall and that painting of the wall might be very difficult challenging task so how you will solve that problem how you think how what are your different perceptions whether you think in the conventional way or you think in the non conventional way so these are important nowadays resilience stress tolerance and flexibility 
means not only your uh, you can just say academic uh, performance or your creativity is important but how you have resilience means if some changes or some um, uh, catastrophic situations occurs or some contingency occurs whether you sustain that how you deliver or how you absorb or how you just maintain yourself calm and quiet with the stress what is your stress tolerance flexibility they will also check